With this tutorial, I want to talk briefly about submixes. Now, submixes are a way of taking some of the feeds that you have, some of the audio channels that you have, and routing them somewhere else so you can do something else with them, and then routing them onto the master. Now, I've got lots of different channels down here. Um, I'm not going to play them through, they just happen to be music, but just let's assume that I've got, say, seven channels of audio and that I've got an awful lot of microphones that have come through from different places. And what I need to do is make sure all the microphones sound like they're coming from the same place or are in the same room. But some of them might be a little bit closer to the point of action, some of them might be further away. What I want to do is create a reverb that's going to affect all of them the same, but some of them might have more powerful amounts of that reverb on them than others. And this is where we can use a submix. Now, I could, if I wanted to, apply a reverb to every single one of these clips. So I can open up my effects and sends, and I can go to my effects, and I can go down and find a reverb. And I can right-click on the reverb and choose a preset. So say we thought they were all in a large hall. And I could put them into a large hall. But the problem is, if as soon as I make any variance to that, if I go into and right click on there and go to edit and start to change some of the parameters so that it becomes custom then what we discover is that I can't save that as a preset it's not possible to make my own presets from it, there's nothing on the panel menu I can't change that and so to be able to have exactly the same settings on multiple channels becomes a bit of a nightmare and also if I've got this reverb on this channel but I don't want as much reverb say on this channel as I want on these two I want the reverb to sound the same so I want them all to sound like they're in the same room but as I say different places from the actual camera from the point of action then I need to have less reverb applied to some more reverb applied to the others and yet it needs to be the same basic reverb that's applied to them all and that's very difficult to do so I'm gonna go back to none up here and I'm going to show you that the best way of doing this is going through a submix. Now at the moment, all of these channels go out to the master. As you can see, they're routed out to the master, and here's the master channel. But what I can do is I can say that some of them can be routed out to a submix. Now how do I create a submix? I can do it in a number of places. I could right-click on the headers down here. So if I right-click on the header, I can go to Add Tracks, and then right at the bottom, I can add submixes here, but I need to go video channels to zero, audio channels to zero, unless I want some more, and I can take submixes up and I can choose what it looks like. But that's probably a long-winded way of doing it. The simplest way, again, is to go to these effects and sends up here, and then go to the send and click the drop-down, and you can create a submix from here. So I'm going to create a stereo submix. And there is my stereo submix. I can see it's called submix one. Now, at the moment, actually, all I need to do is concentrate on these first three channels, because I'm going to say they're microphones, and I want the reverb applied to those. So what I can actually do is, again, go to this panel menu, and I can go to Show Hide Tracks and turn off everything except 1, 2, and 3. So I'll just click on those and turn them off. Leave the submix showing, and click OK. So now I've got the three channels. This is Audio 1, 2, and 3. You can see them down here. And Submix 1 and the Master. But at the moment, this appears... I've got Submix up here in the sends, but it still says it's going out to the Master. Now... This is a way of working it out. I could, if I want, say that the whole thing goes out to a submix. So this channel goes to the submix where any effects applied and then goes to the master. So let's just get an effect applied. Let's go to the reverb. I'm just going to choose a standard reverb. So I'm going to right click on there and choose a large hall and leave it as standard at the moment. So at the moment, if I choose submix here, I'm saying that all of this channel exclusively goes out from here into the submix, goes through the reverb of the submix, and out to the master. At the moment, I'm going to leave that back at the master. So at the moment, it's going straight to the master and ignoring the submix. But I've got this little slider here. It says a volume. Let me just play for a minute. You're not going to hear anything, but I'd like you to look at the sliders. In fact, I'm just going to pull this down so we can make it a little bit more obvious for you. And actually, I'm just going to solo this track so it's obvious what's going on. So this track is now soloed. I can push play, and at the moment, it's going straight to the master. If I change master to submix and I push play, you'll see that it's going to the submix and then the master. But I'm going to take it back to master, and this time I'm going to turn up the volume. So push play, and as I start to turn up the volume, you'll see that a proportion of it is actually going through 
the submix. So I've got the original game, and also a proportion of this channel is going to the submix. So what that means is I can turn this up and down and have more or less of this channel routed through the submix, so it has more or less reverb depending on the volume and the balance. So balance is the more left, is it more right? that's going to have the reverb applied to it and so I can take each of these channels I can put this to submix one and this one to submix one and I can have different amounts applied to all of them so I can have a lot of this one and virtually none perhaps of this one here and so I can have all three of these channels are going through the submix you can see it's not 100% the submix going through but there is also the original going through so I'm mixing them together if I get the drop down and go submix submix and submix then exclusively that's going through the submix and they're always going to be at the same level but if these are at master and I then play around with the amount I'm sending a proportion through this submix one into submix one adding the reverb proportionally to the channels I need to turn the solo off to get the whole of them so you can see all of them going through now you can see that that's too much for the master so I might want to turn down my submix a bit, in fact turn the whole thing down a bit there. Don't want to get into this peaking red, that's still too much, so let's go to minus 6. Take that back to the beginning and try again. And there you go. So I've still got these three going to the master, but I've also got proportions of them going to the submix. And notice I have five submixes. So whereas I could add reverb and any other number of different effects to this particular submix, if I wanted to keep this one exclusive to the reverb, and have a second submix or a third submix that's going to create something else, I can drop down and create additional submixes which I can use to have additional effects which I can send a proportion of the channels to for mixing. Now I hope that makes sense. It's a brilliant way of adding the same effect to multiple channels at varying amounts which can make them sound ultra realistic.